as I have explained you in the previous tutorial, we first need to install Python and then PyQt and then we can start designing and then we can connect our Python um, code on AWS. Once it is connected to the AWS ECS services and then we can write our message in the subject line and then it will be able to send the emails via, via this graphical user interface. So for graphical user interface, of course, we will be using a PyQt. And uh, for the Python, we will be using the Anaconda. So let's first install the Python. Now we click come here and we need to search here. Python Anaconda, okay, download for Windows. So Once you click on the Anaconda Cloud, are installing on Windows, you can say, right? Are downloading the Conda. So here, Python 3.6.5 is the very really recent one. Okay. So download Anaconda for free. And it is available for Windows, Mac OS, and the Linux. So I'm using Windows. And if you are using Mac, then go for the Mac or the Linux. And then click on this Windows. So once you click on this Windows, Anaconda 5.1 for Windows installer. And please download Python 3.6. Otherwise, PyQt5 would not be supported into the Python 2.7. So we'll be using here Python 3.6 and PyQt5. So click on this download and it will start automatically the download. Once you downloaded the Anaconda and the installed Anaconda, then you need to install here PyQt5. So the PyQt5 install on Windows source forge okay from here we want pyqt 5.5 let's say and let's take it from the source forge okay then click on download so once you click on download it will start download okay just after five seconds. Oh, so many downloaded single time. We need to cancel this one. We need to also cancel, cancel this one. Since I'm using here 64 bit. Once Anaconda is downloaded, then uh, you can click on this Anaconda, it will start installation. Okay, so the Anaconda 3, 5.1 and um, it will be installed on the this PC. Okay, and here is destination folder where it will be installed. Okay, perfect. So I have already installed Anaconda there. So it will not install on that location once again. So I'm canceling it from here and you can go ahead if you do not have Anaconda. If you have Anaconda, then it's okay. So once you start clicking on uh, PyQt version 5.5, then then just select everything and then we need to select our folder in which we want to install this PyQt. Since we are using Anaconda, then we need to go into the Anaconda. So once we come into the Anaconda 3, now this is the place where we want to install this PyQt5. So once you select this PyQt5 here, then it will start installing from there. 
since I have already installed that file there that's why it is telling that this will not be able to uh, install at that location okay so but I can show you how it will look like there once you go into the users and speak on and then anaconda 3 and there inside the lib there is the site package okay so inside the site packages you see there i'll show you there the pyqtip inside the site site package let me let me search yes here so the pyqt tool and inside the pyqt tool you see there there is a designer okay so the, this designer you want to click on this designer and uh, then it will show you here and then finally you can start your designing from here so let's start with the main window let's create this main window and you will see here this main window has been created here and then finally you can set height and width of this main window and if you see there width is 800 let's make it to the 400 okay and height let's make it to the 300 this is the window okay and then finally if you press ctrl and the r it will run into the preview mode and from here you can also uh, see it uh, it's it's a uh, it must be somewhere here the preview mode let me show you yes here right so here is the preview mode control and r and then you can add here so much if you want to add checkbox then you need to just you know click this checkbox and then drag and drop it checkbox here radio button push buttons and the tool buttons you know list trees many things you can do here many many things you can do here many many things can be done here just you need to press ctrl and r once again to see it here the checkbox button push button and here is your tool button which will open you know box perfect so from the next tutorial i'll be showing you how you can um, start designing our uh, this application in which we will be needing combo boxes and uh, apart from this combo boxes we will be needing uh, text edits q text edits and also labels